Hi, welcome to ITD 122, Computer Application for Professionals. This short, help, this short help video will show you how to work through the course in order to be successful. First thing that we want to address are the two main systems that are used in this course. The first one is Blackboard, which if you're watching this video, you've already um, gotten into the system. Blackboard is always the part or the system that you start with. So you would always go into Blackboard when you wanted to work on this system. It's the starting point for all materials and all assignments. So all of your help videos, um, all of the due dates for um, like your syllabus with the due dates, all of that would be housed inside Blackboard. It's also the pathway for you to get to the second system that we use, which is SimNet. To go back to Blackboard, though, you probably do about 10% of your work in Blackboard, and that includes the Start Here assignments, which is the syllabus quiz and the Honesty and Learning quiz. Those are in the Start Here assignments folder. And then there are four assignments that are driven out of Blackboard. Computer Concepts Assignment, Computer Ethics Assignment, Computer Impact Assignment, and the final one, which is your Computer Crime PowerPoint and Presentation. Those are the items that you do in Blackboard and submit for grade. However, in Blackboard is where all the structure is, all of your help videos, um, and those type of things, your grade book, all in Blackboard. Blackboard is also how you get to SimNet. Probably 90% of your assignments are submitted through SimNet. And they also include your Sim book, which is your ebook. And within your Sim book are the Let Me Try assignments. And those are, as you're moving through your ebook, you'll see a little button that says Let Me Try. You would need to complete each of those for the chapter that you're working on. The second type of assignment in SimNet for each chapter beginning with Word Chapter 1 is the pause and practice. Now the Let Me Try is also um, in the Windows, the first chapter of the course. The remaining of these assignments in SimNet do not um, begin until Word Chapter 1. So pause and practice, that is the assignment that you create as you're moving through the textbook, through the chapter. There'll be three or four of these pause and practice. So you'll learn some concepts and then you'll take a minute and pause and then practice those concepts. The pause and practice builds through the um, chapter. So you start with one file and you do work to it on each of these and at the end you submit the completed file into the pause and practice in SimNet. The next three, um, guided, independent, and then the extra credit, are what are considered labs. And those um, are the instructions, the start file, any resource file will be in SimNet. There's a movie on um, how to do that. You can watch that. This is um, it's the guided, independent, and extra credit. You are allowed three tries to get the best grade. And then the last thing in SimNet is the tests. So there, I'm sorry, five tests in this class. First one on Windows, and then one on Word, one on Access, one on Excel, and one on PowerPoint. So that's how the assignments and materials are distributed in the two systems that we work with. So the workflow for a specific chapter, beginning with Word, right? So for the four main products, Word, Access, Excel, and PowerPoint, this is how you would complete your assignments. Now, all of these are completed in SimNet, but remember, you get to SimNet through Blackboard. So the first thing that you would do is read the chapter, and that's either in your physical book or your ebook, and then along the way, complete your Let Me Tries. Once you have that done, then you can move to the pause and practice. So 
If you are in a class, you can attend class. Most classes complete the pause and practice in class. If you're online or if your class doesn't do that or you miss class, there are help videos in Blackboard in each chapter's materials um, that walk you through those pause and practice assignments. So you would complete those pause and practice. You submit that in Blackboard, you can do that one time. Third thing is to watch the guided project help videos or attend a lab day if you're in class, right? So if you're not in class, there is a video that would help you through each guided project for a chapter that will help you through that first lab assignment. You then need to complete, um, and so you can do that up to three times for your best grade. And then the fourth thing, fourth step is that you complete the independent project. There is no video for that. That one you're on your own. Um, and you can submit that up to three times for your best grade. And then optionally, there would be an assignment for every chapter beginning with Word that has an extra credit. Sometimes it's another independent. Sometimes it's um, called an improve it but it would be the last assignment in your list and it's worth two extra credit points for every chapter. So that's how you would work through your chapter um, completing assignments. So sprinkled throughout the course then there are things that are not part of that flow that we just did, right? So at the beginning of class it would be your start here assignments and that's the syllabus quiz and the honesty and learning quiz. Those are in Blackboard. Then there would be a test at the end of every product, Windows, Word, Access, Excel, and PowerPoint. So that's not kind of a weekly thing. That's at the end of each of those, those products, and that's in SimNet. Then there are these four assignments that are housed in Blackboard, Computer Concepts, Computer Ethics, Computer Impact, and computer crime. Each of those are in Blackboard and they're not part of your weekly routine, right? So you want to just watch your syllabus for when those um, extra assignments are uh, coming up or when that test is coming up. All right. So keys to success in this class. You can be successful and really these are the three things that my students that are successful do consistently. Read the chapter, right? It seems simple, but really read through the material. Do it prior to when you start the chapter so you know what's going on. Complete the assignments by the due date and time. This could, this is the biggest, this is the biggest key to success is just get the work done on time. Um, particularly those labs where you get three opportunities to, to improve your grade. Take advantage of them. Communicate with your instructor. If you are struggling, if you have a question, if you're not sure when something's due, communicate, communicate, communicate. If you do these three things, it is pretty, uh, pretty certain that you're going to be successful in this course. So this screen is really a reference for help information. If you're having trouble with Blackboard or something in your Windows or something in your Microsoft Office in terms of getting your account set up as a Stark State student, call the Stark State Help Desk. The number is listed here. It's the college's number and then the extension is 4357, which is spelled out help. Here's the uh, um, hours of operations. Please note, do not call our Stark State Help Desk for SimNet issues. They will not be able to help you. There is a SimNet help, and listed here are the hours of operation. There's a phone number. There's an online where you can register a um, technical problem, or you can chat. If you call SimNet for help, you will be given a ticket number. Please write that ticket number down and when you communicate any problems that you're having with your instructor, please reference that ticket number if you have talked to SimNet. 
that is the only way that your um, that your te your faculty member can uh, work with SimNet to try and address your problem. One of the other things is, um, you know, you can always reach out to your fa your your teacher, your instructor, um, before trying any of these. They may say, "Hey, I can't help you. That's a SimNet issue. Please contact technical support." But you can reach out to them and see which what direction you can do. All right, that is the end. Well, wait, no, that's the beginning. Best wishes for a successful semester. Thank you.